Well, Kentucky Congressman James Comer begins a probe of the Disney film Mulan after reports that it was filmed where the Chinese Communist Party is detaining over a million people and reportedly carrying out genocide of the Muslim Uyghur minority. Here's one America's John Hines who caught up with Comer and has this report. Congressman James Comer, the 1st District of Kentucky, I know that uh, you are the senior GOP member of the House Oversight Committee. You are initiating, I guess I call it an inquiry, mm -hmm. into this movie Mulan, mm -hmm. it's a Disney film, and it's, it's the area where it was filmed in China, a lot of questions are raised, what's going on? Well, we're very disappointed to see that Disney is filming the movie in parts of China that uh, have encouraged uh, abortions, they've encouraged women to be sterilized, uh, they have concentration camps with as many as one million people in those concentration camps, so it's basically religious uh, persecution. Uh, they also credited uh, the area in their, in their credits at the end of the movie, thanking them for that, but yet they go to uh, Georgia and threaten to never film a movie in Georgia because of their pro-life stances there. So uh, we have a lot of questions for Disney. Uh, we want to hold Disney accountable. We as Americans stand with people that are persecuted for religious reasons all across the world. And we expect the same for companies like Disney. So it sounds to me like one of the questions here that's sort of the undercurrent here is a question of hypocrisy on the part of the Walt Disney Company. Well, Disney pays great lip service to say they promote young people and uh, they promote this culture that uh, we believe in in America, yet they turn around and uh, turn their back on conservative states, Christian states that uh, believe in life. And then they go to parts of China and film a movie and, and brag on China and thank China uh, when in fact China uh, holds people in concentration camps, they sterilize women and, and have encouraged and threatened uh, with many abortions. We're talking about the Uyghurs and so it appears reports are they filmed this this movie Mulan near the Uyghur concentration camp. Um, there is an organization called, I may mispronounce it, the Turpan Municipal Bureau of Public Safety and there is a credit in this movie pertaining to them, but there are a lot of questions raised by that. What questions are you raising about that credit given to this police force? Well, we want to know uh, why they would credit uh, anyone uh, that's affiliated with concentration camps and the human rights abuses uh, that they clearly uh, are committing in China. This is not what we stand for as America and uh, we don't expect companies that, uh, that are signature industries in America to do the same. So we just have a lot of questions for Disney and we're looking forward to their response. Why aren't your Democratic colleagues on board with this? Why aren't they initiating something like this? The Democrats don't have a plan. We talked about that today. Their whole vision is to embarrass the president. Their, their whole platform uh, revolves around their hatred towards Donald Trump. Uh, a lot of these issues that uh, we're trying to uh, be on the right side of, uh, they used to talk about. But now all they talk about is, is Donald Trump. Their whole effort in the Oversight Committee is to subpoena every cabinet member, every high-ranking official in the Trump administration. Uh, they really don't have a purpose. They never follow through with anything. Uh, they just try to su issue a subpoena and then get a couple of days pre-earned media and then move on to the next person. Uh, they've never proven anything. And uh, it's very disappointing because there are a lot of issues that Americans care about. Congressman James Comer of the 1st District of Kentucky, a senior member of the House GOP, uh, senior GOP member of the House Oversight Committee. Thank you for talking to us on One American News. Thanks for having me. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.